Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Here we are beginning day two of our five day seminar. This seminar focuses on the unification of heavy club swinging, staff, mace, and we're gonna throw in some machete movement to translate to the single arm club movement. Quick report on day one. Day one of programming started out with staff. We always start with staff first because people need to lay their hands on it immediately and figure out what's gonna happen. It is attack, defend drills, observe, orient, decide, and act drills. So they are non-choreographed movement. We start that first day with no foot movement and the attacks are limited at the head, but the attacks are not in any specific order. So people start to learn to make decisions and build their own individual patterns from minute one of day one. Then we go immediately into opening of heavy club swinging, side swings, squats, inside circle, outside circle. That way when we come back to staff in the second part, of day one, people have already set up and primed the proper hip movement. So it goes staff, heavy club, Summer comes in and starts working with mace. Specifically, we start talking about warrior one, warrior two pose, because that primes people for the second half of the staff drills on day one, where we start walking drills. The second people start walking, they start walking in warrior one and warrior two position. And beautiful morning out here. The sun is behind. It's kind of a cloud forest right now. Get some good echo. Maybe I should do some silks really quick to warm up. So day one is simple. Staff, club, mace, staff, then joint mobility cool down. Then we had an absolutely beautiful team dinner. Our local host here is just spoiling the shit out of all of us taking us to the absolute best food and it's all ready and set up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Day two, general overview. We're gonna start with anti-jet lag joint mobility, neck, hip, shoulders. Then we're gonna to move to staff immediately. Then we're gonna start introducing single stick. Then we're gonna to go to club. Then we're gonna to go to mace. Then we're gonna loop it around again. Then we're gonna to go to launch and then we're gonna repeat that format over and over and over again. Every time we come back to a staff drill, one thing changes and we start with attack defend drills. Then we move to walking drills, walk forward, walk back, walk in circles, walk laterally. Then we're gonna to move to unlevel surfaces and we're gonna repeat the training pattern over and over and over again until the attack defend part goes on autopilot. That is the point of all of these drills is that as you add complexity to them, the attacking and the defending part will go on autopilot. It's very specific how we do that. It's pretty nerdy but it always works out. Side note, our staffs that we had purchased locally here, we found out are not actually real wood. You can see here that these are composite glued together. So we already hammered through a huge pile of these sticks and shattered a bunch of them nearly immediately. We found a bamboo grove down the street. We got ourselves a machete and we went out and we cut ourselves a big pile of bamboo staffs out of the dried bamboo that was already there lying down on the ground. Excellent, it's just gonna make it more fun and more authentic over time. We still expect to destroy all of the bamboo staffs over the course of the workout. That's fine, it's part of the psychological prep of doing a seminar like this. Giving people permission to destroy stuff in the process of learning helps people learn. Most people in the modern world are trained to never damage equipment. The idea of allowing people to use staffs that break and then encouraging them to try to break them helps people learn how hard they can actually push. These wood staffs that we first got broke a little too fast, but we had some guys here who've been to multiple seminars already, so they already swing hard, block hard, hit hard, and step hard, which is excellent. So we're just gonna transfer over to the bamboo. There's always a plan for everything. Nothing is ever going wrong. We have a bunch of sections of training here. We have staff, we have single arm short stick. That's gonna build into machete. We have club, we have mace, and we have ground engagement and joint mobility. So all of these blocks have their own order of teaching. And when things happen, because that's what happens, the blocks just shift. The Tetris of training idea does not stop. It goes on and on forever. We have a plan for absolutely everything all the time, no matter what.